when it comes becomes an issue, I, I don't have the fucking time to be in your chat. Be quite honest, I don't even have the fucking time to be in your chat. But here I am trying to do it, and then it's like you don't get the respect. You don't get the respect that you lack in the chat. Definitely. You know, most of the time, some of you guys call me on something. Fucking all out in that bar, and you know, even though it goes kind of go slow on the bar, it's not something I need to do, but it's a big bar. Sometimes I just get bored of that, I get bored of that, I get bored of everything, I get bored of everybody's shit. It's all of them. I'm gonna do this <laughs> real quick. Like, no whole bar type of shit, you know what I mean? If you see that reflection in front of the <laughs> phone, hey, it just makes it, <laughs> makes it look like it. Broken screen. Oh, let's just do this video, because I got my phone right I don't want to use it right now. So, I just go to the YouTube channel, man. I just chill, you know, but once in a while you chat a little, and once in a while you see, you know, this person is cool or not. And if they put your time out right, right away for much or nothing, just, you know, trying to shoot the shit a little. It's obvious, man, and they're just going to be placed in the future. So I usually just, I just, I won't unsubscribe for folks. If I give them a subscribe, I'll just stay there and be at least uh, genuine in that way. And then I'll just move away. I won't talk to them. That's it. I don't go to their chat no more, nothing. It's all good though. I mean, the reality of it is, you know, what's the point anyway? I mean, these other guys got channels, they're gonna talk shit and trash about people with very little subscribers right away, or may not really fit that fucking old key. Uh, you're just begging for people like fishing. Like when you go fishing, you're begging for people to just hang in and keep you rising, your numbers going up. In the meantime, I don't beg, so I ain't running around with a sign on the street, hey, give me some money, and I'm definitely not going on Instagram, Twitch, uh, you know, I ain't tweeting, uh, I don't got, I do have an Instagram that I, I put up for an advertisement, but, uh, you know, I purposely de decommission them right away, so, uh, you know, if, if somebody ends up fucking whatever, I, I don't give a shit, okay, you know, it's advertising, bro, it's advertising, so, and, and of course, people want to fight out, is it this or is it that? Their own little itch to scratch, and usually they got to pull up some drama along with the fish. So I really don't give a fuck about their YouTube channel. Now, it doesn't mean I don't show respect 100%. I do. I go to their channels, I even go to their live streams, I do rip a few words out, and if they don't like them more, uh, if they decide to block or just hide it, you know, what am I supposed to do? I, you know, I don't care. Um, sometimes I have free time to do that, and when I do, hopefully they understand that I'm the individual that, you know, and actually I had to forge some time in the morning to do that, anyway, so, or the afternoon, it was... Hello. Hello, hey, it's Teddy. Hey, what up? What up, uh, I got you some, some homemade chicken. Um, Did you give me a soda? Can I get you a soda? Yeah, I'm, uh... I just left there, trying not to eat shit. Um, yeah, I got 12 bucks, so I got you some homemade, uh, good piece of chicken, and, uh, yeah, you want a Dr. Pepper, right? Yeah. Yeah, I got enough to give me a shot, I'm gonna need it for the morning, I got work though. But yeah, it's a nightmare with this fucking ice. But yeah, I'll bring you a good whole piece made of chicken. Sounds awesome, thank you. Okay, well I'm coming, I already, I'm already, uh, I'm at base camp, I'm gonna hit the store, get you a Dr. Pep, and, uh, yeah, I got you a good piece of homemade chicken. It's still hot as hell, I can feel it on my arm. <laughs> okay, so, cool, I'm glad, thanks for picking up. Yeah, no problem, and, bud. Uh, so I got... I smell like a motherfucker, so I'm already talking to other people. I've got to do the gas station in the morning. That's how I made the 20 bucks. And then I, uh, I borrowed 20 to give Karen, because she was up my skirt. 
And then fucking, I ran into the other lady with the boys. And she's like, I need you all weekend. I was all, fuck yeah. And she needs you all weekend, eh? So, shoveling. I guess we're supposed to get hit with snow for the next 32 hours. We'll see what happens. No. But the roads are... The roads are closed and all that jazz. So, okay, I'll bring you a Dr. Pep. Yeah. You got, do you have smoke? N no, I'm out. I was going to say, there's roaches in the room. Grab those if you want them. Uh, oh, uh, and uh, I'm going to get some trash bags. Okay. And, uh, we're going to bag it up because Karen was like, you got to get the trash out of there. And, uh, I said, well, if I bag it, will you drive it? And she said, yeah. And I said, all right. You know, because I've been helping her. So, you know, it's a two-way street. Yeah, I get I it. Shoveled her, I shoveled her, uh, all her all rock right. and all that. All right, well, her battery. What, what? All right, but we'll talk later. Okay, I, uh, I'll be there in a little while. All right. Yeah, with some homemade chicken just for you. Alright, thank you. Okay, uh, Dr. Pep. Alright, thank you. And, uh, yeah, there's roaches in the room, dude. Alright. Okay. Hey.